Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Rosnal Juggernaut. Got a little bit of an overhaul for 2024. This board features Rosnal's Amptech Elite Camber Profile, 90% camber with a 5% rocker in the nose and the tail. This is basically going to ride almost like full traditional camber, so all your load pops, snap and drive from that, but you got this tiny little rocker in there that will help you ever so slightly with ease of entry in and out of turns, as well as having a tiny little sweet spot for presses and butters. This board's available in 149, 152, 155, 158, 162, 158 wide, and 161 wide. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day with warm temps. You had slush, chop, chunder, a little bit of wind. Basically, it was your standard run-of-the-mill perfect spring day, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label Bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. Since the last time I rode this board, they softened it up and it's no longer in that death plank freestyle board category. It's still a high end freestyle board and it does have a stiffer than middle of the road flex, but it's not so aggressive anymore. So what you get is a minimal sweet spot where that tiny rocker is and then it stiffens up through the middle, right where that camber meets that rocker zone you notice that flex difference. Now the torsional flex is there, it's reactive, it springs back, which is nice for when you're driving a car. When it comes to stability, this board is very damp for a freestyle board. It cuts through chop and chunder with minimal effort. You rarely feel any chatter under your front or back foot and you never have to worry about it getting bucked around. In fact, the only time that I really felt anything was going sideways on a frozen groomer. I could just hear that zip over the corduroy. Otherwise, this board is very solid for what it is. As this board is predominantly camber, you've got that micro rocker in the tail. And when you load up the camber and roll back on it, that little section engages so abruptly, you get a ton of pop with this board. Now, it's not the easiest camber profile to load up. You do have a little bit of fight, so be aware that you're probably gonna feel some foot fatigue at the end of the day. But when you wanna boost a side hit, a roller, a cat track gap, use a family of fat skiers as a lawn tramp, you can with this board. You don't have to worry about it. What you put in, you're gonna get double back out of. When it comes to jumps, it'll handle small and medium, but it really wants to go to the bigger stuff. So what you need to know is when you load that camber up, you get almost like a skate-like spring off the tail from the lip of the jump. That's gonna boost you higher and further. So be prepared that you'll probably take this a little deep at first until you tone it down a little bit. Overall, this board is fully at home getting in the air. Those minimal sweet spots are where you ideally want to leverage your weight over your nose or your tail to lock into a butter. And when you do, it's going to fight you. You need to really press hard into this and work it. And when you're done engaging it, it's going to snap back. So you're going to pop out of just about any butter you do. Be aware of that. It's not for someone that's lazy and laid back. The same thing happens when you jib. This board, as it's almost all full camber, you really have to press it hard to get it to lock into a nose or a tail press. And when you do, it'll hold and fight you the whole time. So speed and strength are key here. When you hit the end of the feature, be aware that it's gonna spring out when you start to disengage it. When you go sideways, it's almost a balance board act on the feature. It doesn't really hug around. There's a little bit of give and you're gonna feel that. Think of it this way, if you're gonna board slide something speed and you're approaching it like you're in a slope style course, you're not gonna be laid back, you're gonna be prepared, dialed, and calculated for how you're going to actually engage it. What I like about this board is that it's camber, but it's got a fluid edge to edge power transmission. So you can actually steer it more underfoot with minimal ankle movements and it feels locked in. You just feel dialed. And when you crank your back knee into the center of the board, loading that camber and pushing off the tail, you can really lay this board over. For being a freestyle twin, you can do a Euro carve on it. Short, tight, quick carves take minimal work. With medium, mellow carves, you're pretty much driving from outside your knees, so you're putting your weight a little more forward, throwing your hips into it and getting it to turn. And then when you absolutely need to Euro carve, you can. This board's great for what it actually is. Who's this board for? The hard charging freestyle guy that wants some response from their snowboard. With Rosnal softening this board up, it's a step in the right direction. This board is a little bit more approachable, but it's still a higher end freestyle board. I like it. I like the fact that it's very camber dominant. 
It just has that feel of an older cambered snowboard that you've ridden before. You know how it's gonna respond. It's got great snap, good edge hold, good power when you absolutely need it. Overall, this is a really solid higher end freestyle board. Comparable boards, the GNU Rider's Choice C3, the K2 Hypnotist, the Capita Outsiders. Binding recommendations, the Rome DOD, the Bent Metal Transfer, the K2 Edition. This has been my review of the Rosnell Juggernaut. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you wanna support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.